Okay, so today is May 5th. Let's do a quick review. Um, Louise, can you please sit by Adriana? So the ones that I am highlighting are the ones that we've already covered in class over the last few days. And we went over how to create these ordered pairs or coordinates based on the triangles, the 30, 60, 90 triangle, and also based upon the 45, 45 triangle. And then yesterday we learned a shortcut to just memorizing them. So at this time, if you could just practice drawing the 30, 60, 90 triangle. On the 30, 60, 90 triangle, across from 30 would be x, across from 60 is x radical 3, and a, the hypotenuse across from 90 is 2x. Now when we plug in 1 to represent the length of the radius, we learned that across from 30 is 1 half because x equals 1 half. And this represents the radius of the unit circle, so it's one unit. And this is radical 3 over 2. Even if you have this done, I want you to practice writing it down, please. The more times you write it, the better, the better you'll have it in your memory. The 45-45 triangle, x, x, x radical 2. And this becomes 1, and this is after we put it into a proper form, it's radical 2 over 2, radical 2 over 2. And these two triangles are used to understand how we come up with the coordinates. Okay, we also went over yesterday, the ones I'm highlighting, and we went over the 30s all the way around. And my suggestion was to count by 3, 3, 6, 9, 12, and so on until you get to 36. Then place a 0 and a degree symbol behind it. We went over the 45, starting with the 4. 4 plus 9 is 13. 13 plus 9 is 22. 22 plus 9 is 31. Add a 5 and a degree symbol behind it. So today, we're going to start class by going over the radian measurements. How do we form these radian measurements? <coughs> so please go to your unit circle. And I'm going to write them on the inside here, and I'm going to try to be as neat as possible. Every 30 degree, every 30 degree measurement, which I am showing you right now, so the only thing I'm skipping would be the 45s. Every 30 degree uh, increment, you are going to start with 1 over 6, and you're going to continue to add an additional 1 sixth pi. So it looks like this. You ready? Please write in this line, write 1 pi over 6. And just to show you how, oops, how this works on a calculator, if I forget about the pi symbol right now, if I take 1 divided by 6 and I add an additional 1 divided by 6, I'm now up to, okay, so 1 6 plus 1 6, hit math fraction, enter, enter, I'm up to 1 third. And that's how we come up with this. So really, I'm going to write 2 pi over 6 but understand it reduces to one-third. And then this line is 3 pi over 6, but reduces to 1 over 2, or 1 half pi. Then I have 4 pi over 6, which reduces to 2 thirds pi. 5 pi over 6 does not reduce. 6 pi over 6 reduces to 1 pi. 7 pi over 6 cannot be reduced. 8 pi over 6 reduces to 4 thirds pi. 9 pi over 6 reduces to 3 halves pi. 10 pi over 6 reduces to 5 thirds pi. 11 pi over 6 cannot be reduced. And the last one, which is equivalent to 360 degrees, would be 12 pi over 6, which reduces to 2 pi. Okay, with the current person that you were sitting next to, I want you to review how did I just explain how to come up with the radian measurements that coordinate with each of the 30 degree segments. Go ahead. So I should hear every group talking right now, not just Sires. Will you have 
to have this memorized by next week, yes or no? Yes, and totally on your own, every, every part of this. Okay, so I'm explaining again how are they formed, how you memorize it kind of to you, but I'm explaining how they're formed. Okay, now I'm going to go and do the 45 degrees one. So I'm just going to put a little circle here so you can see I'm going to do this measurement and this one and this one and this one. The first time I go through, I'm just going to explain it. Um, and by the way, the 45s are also here, but we've, are, we've already mentioned what they are. So 1 pi over 2 pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi. So I have, I start at 0, and then I have 1 over 4, 2 over 4, 3 over 4, 4 over 4, 5 over 4, 6 over 4, 7 over 4, 8 over 4. Let's do it again. Can 1 over 4 be reduced? Can 1 pi over 4 be reduced as a fraction? <coughs> Done. Can 2 pi over 4 be reduced? 2 over 4 reduces to 1 half. Can 3 pi over 4 be reduced? No. Can 4 pi over 4 be reduced? Yes, to 1 pi. 5 pi over 4, 6 pi over 4 can be reduced, and 7 pi over 4. So the ones that I'm putting little check marks by, you are already going to have, if you first do, if you first do the 30 degree increments, you are already going to have the radian measurement down for those. So the only ones you need to worry about are the ones that I'm putting a little dot next to right now. And if you count by odd numbers, you can get the answer easy. 1 fourth pi, so 1 over 4, 3 over 4, 5 over 4, 7 over 4, done. Okay.